reductions in gray matter within the orbital frontal cortex, the ventral anterior cingulate cortex, and the insular lobe, regions responsible for empathy, moral judgment, and self-control, are among the key neurophysiological markers of a deviant brain. These areas form the brain's internal moral circuit, the system that allows us to feel the emotional weight of our actions and register another person's pain as meaningful. When the integrity of these structures is compromised, an individual may retain high intelligence, strategic thinking, and behavioral control, but without the emotional anchor that keeps destructive impulses in check. Such cases are more common than most people realize. These are individuals whose emotions aren't entirely absent. They're simply disconnected from moral context. They can analyze, but they cannot feel. Behaviorally, this presents as cold rationality, a lack of inner conflict, and a striking resistance to stress. To an outside observer, it may look like composure and strength, but beneath that lies a neurological deficit in empathy. These deviations don't make someone dangerous by default. It all depends on where the energy of cognitive control is directed. In a balanced environment, it can produce an exceptional surgeon, military strategist, or crisis analyst. But when the emotional core of the personality is deformed by trauma, humiliation, or early deprivation, that same neurobiological structure becomes the foundation for a predatory type, calculating, detached, and morally numb.